This year, at the ESMO 2019 meeting, we presented the final overall survival results of the FLORA study. The median overall survival was superior for patients treated with osimertinib, 38.6 months, compared to 31.8 months, almost a seven-month improvement in median overall survival, and these results were statistically and clinically meaningful. We also showed that the safety profile of osimertinib continued despite almost two-fold longer duration of exposure to osimertinib compared to the first or second generation TKIs. And finally, we reported on the crossover. Uh, in both groups of the trial, only 70% of the patients were able to go on and receive a subsequent therapy. The other 30% were unable to receive subsequent therapy because most often the patient passed away before they could get another line of therapy. When you look at the control group who got erlotinib or gefitinib in the first line and those who went on to receive second line therapy, 47% of those patients got osimertinib. And that is comparable to what one would see. That is aligned with what one would see in terms of the prevalence of T790, which is approximately 50% in the acquired resistance setting to Erlop or Jafetnib. So we feel that the crossover was robust in the control group. Why is that important? Well, in spite of the crossover being offered in the second line in a high number of patients, frontline osimertinib improved overall survival. To me, this negates any argument about sequencing, giving a first generation drug, waiting for resistance, and then giving osimertinib, because that was the control group of the FLORA study, and osimertinib still showed superiority. So taking all of those together, osimertinib has emerged as the preferred frontline TKI for EGFR mutated non-small cell lung cancer patients, specifically for exon 19 or 21 mutation.